In this video, we'll look at the equation for NiSO4 plus H2O. This is nickel 2 sulfate plus water. So we'll take solid nickel 2 sulfate, put a little S here for solid, and put it in liquid water, and we want to know what happens. So nickel is a metal, and this sulfate ion, that's a group of nonmetals. So this is an ionic compound. Often they're soluble in water. But let's check the solubility rules here. So we're looking for either the nickel ion or the sulfate ion. And we come down. Here it says most sulfates are soluble in water, with a few exceptions. And nickel, it's not one of the exceptions. So nickel sulfate will be soluble in water. It'll dissolve and dissociate into its ions. So sulfate, the sulfate ion here, the whole thing is 2 minus. Good one to remember. So the nickel, that has to be 2 plus. So we'll have our nickel 2 ion, that Ni2 plus, and then we'll have the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. And because these are dissolved in water, we want to write a little AQ after them. That stands for aqueous, dissolved in water. So this is the equation for NiSO4 plus H2O. Sometimes you'll see the water placed above the arrow. You may also see the water written in the products here, too. But since we have AQ for aqueous, that means these are dissolved in water, so I don't write the water again here in the products. But that's the equation for NiSO4 plus H2O, nickel 2 sulfate plus water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.